We recently made a video about blah blah. Like this guy has been permanently banned. Whether or not that's down to cheating, whether or not that's down to somebody hacking his account and booting him off the servers and getting all of his information to actually cause his account to be banned. You know, he's starting to point fingers. Now, we're going to get into this today. So, let's crack on with the video. Okay, so on June 7th, I put out a tweet saying, remember the quote from Ra Ra himself, permaband equals cheating. I wonder if his shadow ban will lead to a permaban. Now, this was after I had originally been sent that tweet saying, want to laugh, I'm shadow banned. Because listen, as you can see here, I've got Ra Ra blocked because he chats so much waffle. I just can't be dealing with it. So I've put, put him to the back of my mind, you know, moved him out of the way. He's irrelevant. But I got sent this and I thought, oh my God, he's shadow banned. So I put, I wonder if his shadow ban will lead to a payment ban. However, at that point of my tweet, Ra Ra had already put out another tweet saying that he was fully payment banned. And I actually went digging through his tweet, found the information, and I've actually showed that in the last video. But now he's retweeting this saying, I think we know who may have paid for me to get banned, or to be banned, sorry. Like, listen, put it, put it this way, if somebody was going to pay for someone to be banned, why on earth would they pick a nobody YouTuber like yourself, Ra Ra? They wouldn't. You are, what, are you 30,000 subscribers, something like that, doing a couple of thousand views a video? Nobody's that interested in you, nobody. Even if you are exposing cheap providers, I've done it in the past. And I've been personally attacked online. And guess what? Nobody's attacked my account and had it banned. And if this was really a thing, right, let this sink in. If hackers were able to get your account payment banned from their side, why on earth would all of these rage hackers out there just be doing bounties and targeting and stream sniping large streamers instead of getting their accounts banned? Let that sink in. How many times have we seen large streamers attacked for weeks via stream sniping and people claiming that there has been a bounty put on their head so somebody has paid a group of rage hackers to go and kill this streamer in a game right we're talking z lane or we're talking other people on facebook game and we're talking many large streamers who have had to deal with this however not one of them people not one of them large streamers no z lane there's no fifa kills no Aidens, no Diaz Biffles, Jukies, none of these guys have had their accounts permanently banned. And if you think for one second that if somebody had the higher power to ban people from the game, from their side, they wouldn't attack these large streamers, and they would attack you, you're delusional. It's that simple. I and mean, I'm not saying that people should go and attack any large streamers. I just don't believe that what Ra Ra is saying is true. I don't believe for a second that somebody has had Ra Ra's account banned because I don't think that that's even possible. And if it is possible, I would love to see how, I would love to see the step-by-step -step process broken down, but I've never seen anything like it. And I believe that Ra Ra has found a loophole to try and claim that he's legit and he's been perma banned falsely, right? But in reality, we all know that he's now in that dirty little corner over there with the likes of Wagnificence, with the likes of 5x5x, Tova, Free Gaming, and everyone else who's been permanently banned. Even Nadia, she's over there. She's had an account perma banned as well. And now Ra Ra's over there with all the people he defended at one point. And yet he's trying to somehow spin this narrative that somebody has paid for him to be banned. Ra Ra, I wouldn't waste a single penny on you, mate. You're not worth it. Sort your haircut out, sort your life out. Go and get your mental health checked because honestly, Something doesn't seem right with you lately. And I feel like you do need a little bit of help. Take a step back from YouTube, maybe, and go and see a, a specialist, a therapist, a professional, whatever you call it in America. I don't know. But yeah, this is an absolute load of bollocks. So I just wanted to clear the air. I know that Ra Ra isn't a believable guy. I know the majority of people, like 99.999% of people, don't take anything he says as truth anyway. But I just wanted to clear the air. Even if this was a possible thing, even if you were able to actually get people banned from your side, right, and ban their account, I wouldn't do it, okay? Because there's a process in play. If somebody is legit, they don't deserve to be banned. If somebody is cheating, they do deserve to be banned. But I'm not that person in a position to start banning people, okay? Activision are the ones who need to do that. That's their job. And by law, you leave them to it, okay? So I wouldn't want to do anything that would put me in a position where I may be breaking the law either, okay? So Ra Ra, Chat and Wham, yet again, trying to somehow spin a narrative that it's all my fault, that he's being perma-banned. And in reality, 
We all know he's just a dirty little cheater like the rest of them. And no matter what he says, right? No matter if he's like, oh, you can scan me PC. He's already admitted to using VPN. He's already shown us how he used DS4 Windows. The guy is a schemy little rat through and through. And he always has been. And I've always known it. If you did enjoy today's video, guys, smash that thumbs up if you're new to the channel. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our future uploads. And if you guys want to stay up to date with the boxing content, go and hit up youtube.com forward slash at badboyboxing. It's linked in the description below. And one last thing before we go. Do you ever feel like life is just too overwhelming? That your anxiety is holding you back from being your best self? Introducing Supreme CBD, the all natural CBD solution to help you find your balance. With Supreme CBD, you can experience the benefits of CBD without the psychoactive effects of THC. Supreme CBD's formula is designed to help you reduce stress and anxiety, improve focus, and promote overall wellness. And the best part, Supreme CBD is made with only the highest quality organic ingredients, so you can feel confident in what you're putting into your body. It's time to take control of your life and find your balance with Supreme CBD. You can order now and experience the difference for yourself. And don't forget to use code TRIPLEB40 at checkout for 40% off.